to my channel, Mary's Life Journey. Thank you so much for joining me on today for this happy collaboration. This is a collaboration with the Happy Family and the WTF Family with the Family Tapers. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mary. Make sure that if you like collaborations and videos like this, make sure that you press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I upload future videos. So on today, we were challenged to make a St. Patrick's Day entree and a St. Patrick's Day drink. So that is what I am going to do for you today. Today, I'll be pairing preparing a shamrock milkshake and I'll be doing the famous cabbage and sausage um, that a lot of Irish um, culture like to prepare for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure that you subscribe and become a part of my family. I also will leave up in the iCards um, my St. Patrick's Day tear tray um, video. So make sure that you go over and check out how I put together this St. Patrick's Day tear tray. So let's get off into this video and let's get it started. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So guys, let's get started on our dinner for tonight. And this is the perfect Irish comfort food and it is a known favorite. It is the sausage. I have cut up my sausage, my bell pepper. I've cut that up. I have washed and cleaned my cabbage. So it, it is nice and cut up. So it is ready to be put in the pot and we are going to start the preparation. So guys, I'm um, adding a little olive oil and I am just going to sear and fry my, um, my sausage and my green peppers. So I am going to put them in the pot like so. I'm going to get that cooking and let's add some seasoning, some garlic powder. I love cooking with garlic powder. And onion powder. Guys, this is starting to smell and look delicious. Show it to you. Now I'll be right back. Let's cover this. Okay, guys, so I have um, sauteed my sausage. And I'm just going to add a little bacon because I'm just going to steam down the cabbage. So just to give it a little bit more flavor. And I am just going to add my cabbage.
You guys, I know it looks like a lot, but believe it or not, when cabbage steams down, it steams down to a little or nothing. <laughs> so. And we are going to add a little more seasoning to the cabbage. This is my garlic powder. A little more onion powder. And we're going to cover and let that steam down. I'll be right back. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, here's my little helper. So we are going to sample the um, dish that I just fixed and it was the cabbage and sausage. It turned out pretty yummy. Pretty nice, looks really, really good. So we are going to try it out and see how it tastes. So, let's give it a try. Josh, get two forks. Okay. Mmm. Smells delightful. There you go. Thank you. Do you want me to help pass off the rest of the place? No. Nope. I'm okay. staying right here. Here you go. There's yours. Smells delightfully delightful. Where's my fork? Oh, I got gotcha. you. One. I got thank you. you. Okay. Guys, it is good and nice and hot. And delightful. And this is how it looks. There we go. And we are going to try it. On set. So guys, now it's time to make the shamrock shake and I am just pouring in some ice cream, vanilla homemade bluebell ice cream. That's what I like to make my shakes with. And I'm just, I, I let it melt a little bit because I could not locate the cup to my blender. So I just have to improvise here. And I'm doing a voiceover because my family was just a little bit too loud. And I'm just trying to get the video done. So I am adding a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of mint, and a little bit of green food coloring to make my shamrock shake. And guys, this shake turned out absolutely delicious. I will have the recipe listed in the description box if you would like the recipe for this shamrock shake. I hope you guys would enjoy making it. And I'm just adding a little bit of milk.
lot of people ask, who is St. Patrick? St. Patrick is a patron saint of Ireland, known for bringing Christianity to the country, to his country. He lived in the 5th century and was actually born in Roman Britain, not Ireland. When he was 16, he was captured by Irish raiders and was sent as a slave to present-day Northern Ireland, where he became a shepherd. He grew close to Christian faith during that difficult time, and he went on and spread Christianity to the Irish through the baptism and the confirmation. So this is a known fact of why we celebrate St. Patrick's Day.